We are now less than a week away from Election Day, and one of the candidates for U.S. Senate is back in the area today. Congressman Tim Ryan is here in Bowling Green, and as you can see behind me, there is a large crowd of supporters here, people from BGSU, people, friends and family of Tim Ryan. And of course, like I said, Election Day is next week. So where does the congressman stand on the issues? Well, here's that. So would you be able to give me an idea of what your reaction is to that Fox News town hall you did? How did you think you performed and did you get your message out to voters? I thought it was great. You know, our phone's been ringing off the hook, you know, with a lot of people that were, one, glad that I went on Fox News and one that I stood my ground. Um, and I'm trying to unite the country. And so somebody's got to lead and go into that space where you can start having conversations. And that's what I did. And, you know, like I said, we've had a lot of a lot of Republicans, quite frankly, uh, in the last 24 hours that are coming on board because of, you know, of, of what, how it went down. So it was good. And one big issue for a lot of Ohioans and voters across the country has been inflation. And today the Fed raised in interest rates again because they're trying to tamp down on this inflation. So if you were to be elected to the Senate, what could you deliver for Ohio voters? Well, I think we need a tax cut. I just don't like how aggressive um, the Fed is being. I think they're you know, they're using the sledgehammer at this point, and they should have done something a long time ago, maybe smaller steps. But um, I understand, you know, what the, why they're trying to do it, but I just think it's too much. This is a tax on working people. I think we need a tax cut for working people. And the supply chains are starting to unlock, so I think they're starting to, they're starting to overreact a little bit, and it's just going to be nothing but a tax on, on working people. And if you're elected to the Senate in those first 100 days, we often talk about that after elections. If you're elected, what are some things that you want to accomplish? I think we need to continue uh, an industrial policy. We saw with the CHIPS Act where we're um, doing public-private partnerships around key industries. So the CHIPS Act was around semiconductors. Um, we want to do that around artificial intelligence. We need to do that around wind and solar and I think natural gas. So like going down the line, really having an American, a pro-American industrial policy here. And I'm gonna, that's where I'm gonna kind of have my focus on that. And then how do you develop the workforce in that? So shop class, robust joint vocational investments, just keep it in, on a pathway to get workers into those fields of the future. And during this election cycle, you and plenty of other candidates have run ads and your opponent, J.D. Vance, has attacked you for oftentimes voting aligning with President Joe Biden on a lot of the issues. What's your response? Well, the question, the underlying question is, can you take on your own party, right? Do you have the guts in this political environment to take on your own party? And the answer for me is yes. You know, I ran against Nancy Pelosi for speaker. I've taken on President Biden when he tried to reduce tariffs on um, solar panels, when he tried to reduce regulations on Title 42 at the border. I opposed Obama on his trade deals and fast track authority uh, several years back. Then I also agreed with Trump when he renegotiated NAFTA and took a firmer position on China. So I'm the, I'm the Ohio guy. You know, I just I do what's best for Ohio. And so and I'm not afraid to take on my own party or, as you saw last night in the Fox Hall debate, not afraid to take on the extremists on the other side, too. And is there anything else you want voters to know because we're getting close to Election Day? We're less than a week out. I think people just need to know where I'm from. I think when they know I'm from the Youngstown area, from the Mahoning Valley area, they know pretty much all they need to know about somebody. You know, I'm a hard worker. I've been busting my rear end for 18 months to earn people's votes. Um, I share their values around family and faith and community. And uh, I want to put America first and stop the dumb politics. <laughs> so I think, but if you know where I'm from, I think you that, that all comes with the package.